Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to the Cobblestone Chronicles. Sorry it's been so long since I uh, made a, an episode for you guys. I have been under the weather, as you can probably tell from my voice. It's, uh, it's a bit drastic, unfortunately. <laughs> but I, uh, I was feeling pretty good until, I guess, day before yesterday. And all of a sudden I came down with um, a pretty bad cold. It could have been a lot worse. I suppose it could be bronchitis or something of that nature, but um, fortunately, I uh, I caught it pretty quick, and as soon as I felt my, my sore throat, I ended up going to the doctor and um, getting some medicine. So I am currently in the process of uh, rebuilding my immune system. <laughs> it would seem that uh, it's a little bit um, it's a little bit harder to get rid of than I thought it would be. But uh, all in all, it's 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 going away slowly but surely. I just sound pretty bad right now. Um, I thought I would make a little uh, boathouse for this underground, um, I guess you could say underwater dock, underground dock. <laughs> it, uh, it's a pretty cool design. I used to play with this specific design on... Um, on my first season in Cobbleton and uh, it, the method is pretty simple it's a little ramp that comes down here this is actually uh, was being used when I was creating it but now that trip wires are intact um, you can use those pretty cool we were trying a few different designs yesterday and I, I couldn't get anything that I liked that just worked so this is what I came up with and um, it's raining <laughs> But uh, basically, oh wow, I thought this one too. Um, so what I what I ended up doing is taking a uh, a trip wire and wiring it underneath all this mess back here. And basically, when you press the button, uh, the water spews out and sends you into this current. And all of those uh, water blocks there that you see are source blocks. Uh, place them one at a time so there was no down current, and it just pushes you through the boat. <coughs> you clip this trip wire, and once you clip the trip wire, this turns off because it's wired up. So it's a pretty neat design. Uh, right now, I'm kind of just working on uh, what I want to do with the outside of it. I want to start putting some colors around, but um, I thought purple would be um, a cool first color. Uh, it was easy. It was pretty easy to get. It's actually they call it blue, but it looks purple to me. Uh, it was using lapis and dark clay. So, sorry if the uh, volume is a little high here. Let's see if I can fix that. Actually, what I'm going to do is uh, turn my particles to minimal. That way there's no sound. Ah, that's better. Just because I sound like a rainy day doesn't mean it has to. <laughs> you have to hear it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I've been pretty busy um, working on here, doing the store made video. Just <clears throat> keeping it... Uh, Keeping busy, you know, trying to keep my mind off this sick, and um, I've got quite a bit accomplished in the last week, uh, even though it wasn't on video. Uh, for starters, we ended up um, doing the Hypermind contest winner's announcement, and uh, that was a really, really cool deal. We got some really, really cool players on the server. Um, some people that I've been wanting to uh, play with and hang around with for quite a while. Um, Finally, I'm going to be able to do that uh, regularly because they, they're on the server now. And along with some people that, uh, some some winners from the other uh, guys' contest entries. So, came out pretty good. If y'all haven't seen that video yet, it's pretty cool. It kind of introduces everybody. And uh, if you check the description, you'll see um, everybody that uh, is currently added, well, was currently added to the server. Um... Meanwhile, when I have been doing all these videos and stuff, I've been having to go to work, naturally, but we're trying to adjust to uh, this this newfound uh, job schedule, and it's, 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 it's turning out to be pretty impossible. What, what typically ends up happening is I work about, um, I work, usually it's 9 to 6 is what I'm scheduled, or 12 to 8, and... Um, when I work a 9 to 6 schedule, it was like 10 to 6, but now it's 9 to 6. Um, which didn't help me much because 10 to 6 was already bad enough. But 9 to 6, now I don't even have time in the morning to uh, to get anything done. Because the time that it takes me to drop my daughter off from school and get back to 
um, get back to the house is about a half hour. And after I do that half hour, what ends up happening is I, um, I have to go straight to work from there. So um, not the coolest uh, design, <laughs> you know. It's not really efficient. It's terrible on gas. So I usually just go to work a little bit early um, and sit in my car until something happens pretty much. So as lackluster that, as that seems, it is the more economic approach to it. Uh, even though I'm not particularly fond of it, uh, you know, I got to make a decision on what to do. So I pretty much decided that I think I'm going to get a part-time job. Um, I got to go get some wood right quick, if I have any. Uh, actually, I'll probably just got to go form some. Um, yeah. So the mobs are going to be kind of crazy right now, too. Hope you guys don't mind. But um, <clears throat> so what I decided to do, I think, is get a part-time job. And... Um, with this job, I don't I don't really know what it's gonna be. It could be a grocery store. It could be um, still fixing phones. Pretty much whatever pays me a reasonable amount without uh, me having to go through the ringer to get it and uh, and get a good schedule. But with part time, you can you can really restrict your availability. With full time, you really can't. When you when you take a full time job, most people are like okay, uh, you have to work this schedule and that's it. You know, part time. You know, students use part-time and everything else. And when you get into um, part-time, you can just, you can choose your own schedule, kind of. You know, if it's if it's acceptable to the people that are hiring you. Well, any job that I take is going to have to be, you know, I'm going to take a Monday through Friday. I'm going to take the weekends off and I'm going to do whatever I need to do um, on the weekends and also during the weekdays. Uh, like spend time with my family and stuff. I haven't gotten a chance to cook or any of the things I really like to do. And um, with the hours that I keep with my current job or YouTube, uh, I, I usually end up playing in the mornings, very, very early in the mornings. And uh, that kind of stinks because nobody else plays early in the mornings except Ormondage, which um, my buddy Orm and I, we like to play together and stuff. But uh, we can definitely both make time to hang out together without me having to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. His schedule's not that... Um, Fast backwards, let's just say. So I've been kind of... Don't you explode, you sucker. Dang it, poor chicken. It's like a casualty of war. These mobs are crazy, man. I think I'm going to have to... I don't know if I have enough dirt to fix that. I don't know if I have enough endurance to... God! I didn't see him, but I heard him. Dude, it's chaotic out here. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I do have enough dirt to fix it, but I don't know right now if the that's the best thing. Let's fix this right quick. Man. Kind of a derp episode, huh? But I really wanted to put something out for you guys. I, um, I'm not big on taking breaks, as y'all all know. And um, I'm even less big on... Um, on being sick but that's just kind of the uh that's the way the ball bounces i guess they say all right at least we uh fixed our hole did we even get any wood the strip was almost worthless already <laughs> we do have 11 i might have enough just to finish up the little corner that i wanted to finish if not i could grab let me just grab this tree too i have a feeling i'm about to be interrupted all right, that should be good, at least for me to finish up what I got. Probably should build just during the day, but <laughs> now that I'm already recording, I want to keep recording. You know? All right. So now, on this side, I got to install some lighting in this thing, too. Now on this side, yeah, I should have enough here. Uh-oh, Nook's got blown up by a creeper. Those stinkers are vicious. If I even spelled that right. Vesoyous. <laughs> Whatever. They know what I mean. So yeah, it's been a treat being able to talk and hang out with the new guys. Um, as well as the old. Uh, One Wolf just got internet back, so he's been talking to us again. Um, Benito's still out of commission. And um, we haven't seen a whole lot of fluent lately. 
but <clears throat> all those guys should be coming back relatively soon. What I think I'm going to do here, this was originally... Let's see. I don't mind the walkway when we path, but I didn't think about what the heck I'm going to do to get up here. That's probably a big design flaw, huh? <laughs> Oh boy. Alright, what I need to do is get, I guess, a corner post here. That way I can... Let's see. I guess if I knock this out a little bit and go up further, this could be the entrance and the entrance into the house right here. So let's do that. Let's just change this up a little bit. That's going to have to change then too. That's no problem. Alright, let's see how we want to do this. I do have a few stairs on me, so... I'm guessing right here would be okay. No, it has to go one more back. Yeah, that's cool. And I have to change this out. I hope I didn't block my redstone with that. I don't want to take a chance. Really don't want to take that chance. No, I hadn't blocked my redstone, but still. Okay. Now we could go with the stairs. Alright. Play ball. Just need to... I guess need to add wood right here. So this will be the other side. It's not going to be quite what I had in mind but it'll work maybe we can change this up too we could just square this off and it doesn't necessarily have to be a full intersection you know so I've been playing a lot of uh, Final Fantasy 2 uh, Realm Reborn the MMO and that's pretty fun. I've been live streaming that a little bit. I haven't live streamed it lately. Um, <clears throat> but I had a lot of kinks to work out with that, guys. Live streaming is its a whole different deal. Um, it's not anywhere close to perfected <laughs> by any means. The, uh, the idea behind it was that um, it was going to allow me to play without worrying about... Um, without worrying about just editing because there's so much... There's so many parts, you know, and unless you're doing questing, there's really nothing to record. But um, I hate to cut dead parts out because it really takes a lot of time to do that. Because there's a lot of running around just to make an interesting episode, you know. Um, but live streaming, uh, you know, I got the benefit of being able to hang out with people while I do stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And, you know, you get a lot of feedback and you learn stuff as you go. It's a... Uh, all in all, it's a good recipe. I, I, I really enjoy it. It's it's almost like hanging out and playing games with my friends, you know, like when I was a kid. But, okay, let's see how this is going to do. I want to say that that'll probably work out. I'll just be able to continue in on here. And we won't need... <coughs> this is the top inside there, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. I want that to be wood, but it's almost like I would have to do the entire floor with that. So I'm thinking maybe we can just go regular wood there. That's what the inside is anyway, so it shouldn't be that bad. I could use the extra wood to tell you the truth. Okay. Actually, I need some right now. Alright, so now that we got that, let's turn that into planks, or a good portion of it at least. And let's do some of that. That way the floor will be uniform. Uh-oh. kind of hard to get out of here once you get in it. There we 
we go. <laughs> kind of weird, huh? But it works. All right. So this is all going to need to get cleared out. And we'll turn that into regular wood, too. And that'll be our floor setup. Um, also, guys, I don't know if y'all had seen, but uh, I did a, some Storm made videos. The Storm made video is actually really, really good. That's like, uh, if I had to say some of my best work, what my best work was, it would probably be those videos to date. Like, um, really, really time consuming is the only thing. But uh, as far as just finished product, really, really cool. Really fun to do too. It takes, um, I think my last store made video, my, uh, part one, which was actually my second video that I did, took, uh, there was like 120 different clips that I had to edit together. Um, most of them audio files just to get uh, just to get all the voice acting done and the the thing about it is is it's very very peculiar when you're doing this when when you do an audio file with the, um, with what I'm doing it with which is the uh, I think it's the Microsoft speech engine it's what it sounds like at least it's a little translator program that I found online and it's not even a program it's just a web page I should get, grab this clay too um, it's just a web page and you basically just input speech that you want to put in it and you can translate it from one language to another um, of course I'm going English to English and not all of them allow you to do that which is weird it, it just seems I mean I know it's a translator but um, <laughs> it seems like it would just let you speak English to English on any one, but the voice that I have for Dana is one of the better ones, excuse me, alright, uh, is one of the better ones I find. Um, it's weird that I got the inspiration, weird inspiration where I got it from. Um, there's a song, at, at work, there's uh, a bunch of people that uh, that I work with that they all make fun of, you know, some of the customers and stuff like that. And a while back, we had a customer that came in that, uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Molly's, but this guy uh, came in all hyped up. And I mean, it was, it was bizarre. Like, he was just, he was, you could tell he was pretty much out of his mind. And uh, he said, he told Amanda, which is one of the, uh, the rep, the sales reps that, uh, he had popped a molly and he was sweating. <laughs> that uh, apparently that's what a lot of people say that happens. You know, it's like um, when you sweat, when you pop a molly, you sweat. It's I don't know, it's some kind of speed or ecstasy. I really don't know all of the details behind the drug, but all I know is it it's pretty bad. Um, but anyway, so this guy comes in and he's he's tripping out like, and he said, uh, "Man, I popped a molly and I'm sweating." So we started uh, looking up mollies and stuff like that, and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot a lot of videos about stupid people popping mollies and doing some retarded stuff. So it was it was funny, um, but I, a little bit later, I heard a rap song on the radio on one of the radio stations that I listened to, and it was about uh, mollies or whatever. But uh, I think it's by Wiz Khalifa and Tiger, um, but. The beginning of the song, uh, they're saying uh, they have uh, like a uh, an artificial voice, kind of like a robotic voice of a chick, kind of like the one that I use in um, the uh, the Storm Made videos. And it's it's it goes like, uh, "Hi, I was wondering if you can help me. You see, I've looked everywhere and I still can't seem to find Molly. And Molly is the drug that they're talking about. Well." I, I just I don't know how to explain it, but I liked the way that her voice sounded. So I said to myself, "Man, I, I, I'd love to." Uh, and I'd been thinking about Stormy. I bet I bet you that would make like a good computer voice. So I just started playing around with the ideas, and um, they kind of just started working together. And and that's the finished product that I got. It was a uh, like I said, it came out really really good. It's funny, um, but I have to record this little voice, um, and you know I have to record it doing stuff and then I have to respond to it or vice versa so I've, I've been taking on a couple different um, I don't like the way that looks man at all uh, I've been taking on a couple different uh, ways to do it one of the ways that I chose to do it is trying to get 
trying to just think about what I would say and how I would respond to it. And the other ways is just scripting everything out. And the first one I did was almost totally scripted. And it sounded a little stiff, honestly. It really did. When this turns to grass, I don't think it'll be that bad. But I don't know. It's this that I don't care for. I think I need the post here. I think that's my whole problem. Um, so yeah, it's a... Uh, Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> to emergency sniff. Um, but like I was saying, um, the first uh, episode was, it came out a little stiff in my opinion. It seemed too scripted. And I took that into the consideration and I thought it would sound a little bit better if I was just natural and kind of just spoke. So, and, and almost imagine like, while I'm listening to this, what Dana would be saying. So what I ended up doing is just going all the way through with it and um, and just speaking and thinking about how Dana would respond. And then as I was watching the video, I, uh, I recorded, you know, every time I would just pause the clip and say, okay, I'm going to make Dana say this. And, okay, I'm going to make Dana say that. And that seemed to work a little bit better, I found. So that's that's where I'm at right now with with the series and I don't know if there's a better way to do it uh, with with no actual other person to respond to you have to think about the responses to yourself so it's a little bit strange but all right now I need to do a really really shallow roof on here and probably install some lighting as well I do have a few lights um, I think <coughs> I was originally just gonna do ceiling lights here but what I could do oh no I almost just need glowstone for that I think it would work better but might just do torches in here for now because I don't have a whole whole lot of glowstone yeah let's go do torches and I think I'm gonna do um, a half slab roof is what I think I'm gonna do somebody broke Nugs' tunnel uh, I think I'm going to do just a little half slab roof and then install some windows is probably what I'll do. So yeah, anyway, if you guys haven't checked out the store made video yet, check it out. It's, it's, it's good. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. If y'all like my personality, y'all definitely going to enjoy it. Okay, so we got half slabs. Let's get rid of some of this dirt. What else we got to get rid of? Rotten flesh. Uh, I need torches. Torches, torches. I got coal upstairs too. I think I have enough. Oh yeah, that ought to be plenty to light it up. And, okay, let's make a few sticks here. That ought to work. There. Now I can light up my place a little bit. And we got enough to make half slabs too. Let's just make those now. I don't know how many that's going to be. Yeah, that should be plenty. And do we have dirt? Yeah. All right. Armitage well, 2. <laughs> the, um, the spawn chunks don't stay loaded for some reason when somebody's not in. I think it's a changing in the code. But what we ended up doing is um, a few of us have alternate accounts. So Armitage um, gets on here and kind of just keeps the iron form loaded when it gets low. And uh, it works out pretty good. Getting hurt here. I think I just need to eat. Yeah. Be careful. There's a lot. Dude, zombies everywhere. Sheesh. Can't be cordial when I'm getting attacked. I hurt him. <laughs> All I'm trying to say is hello, man. Sheesh. All right. You know, it's bad I'm talking to them too. <laughs> they funny. All right. So now we can just put some torches in here, and I think that'll help us out immensely. I guess I'll put them. I need to do a few windows as well. I'm trying to imagine where the best place to put them are. I'm going to do some little small windows with no borders, just regular old windows. 
And I should have grabbed some glass in there. Also, I'm guessing I should probably put fence gates right here. Hmm. I don't know how I want to do this. Oh, I know what I want to do. I think I'm going to do a little, just like a little tiny patio. And that'll make it look less obvious anyway. And it'll also give me an excuse to change out this dirt with something a little nicer. Which is the wood. Look at the zombies, man. Sissy, you see this sword? It was at full health before I started building today. Like, well, almost full health. It was pretty close to full health. And this, the durability on it, all that you see here is just fighting monsters out and just building at my house. It's ridiculous. Yeah, there is a lot of people on. Alright. So, wood here... Let's do one more. And we can take... What did I just do? Not what I wanted to, apparently. And out. And out again. And now I'm gonna need fence and fence gates. That way I'll just be able to strap fence right here and I'll put the little fence gate out. Let's get that taken care of right quick. Um, I need more wood. Oh, I could use that bird chuck guy. That's what I'm gonna do. That'll work, that'll work nicely. Okay, let's get some sticks made. I did that wrong. out one more then because that would have been a little ugly I'm still gonna have to man I'm gonna have to clear all this because what's gonna end up happening there is things will jump over it and I really don't want that okay didn't we just make some sticks yeah Let's sit down a crafting bench in there. Oh, we already have one in there. Cool. Make us a little shovel. There we go. Yeah. That looks about right. a little bit cleaner altogether. Alright, so now I can place my little fences. And <laughs> I don't have enough. I need two more. Do I have? No, I don't. That's cool. So now I can go in like this. Alright. And I'm not going to roof for you guys. I'm actually thinking about roofing, um, <laughs> putting up a little um, shop in the market to do roofing for people for diamonds since I haven't been going mining lately. Let's see. So I can do pretty good roofs. Uh, what am I after? Oh, I know what I'm after. Glass. If I had room for it, let's just throw this zombie flesh away. Um, and I need it to be pains. So let's make that happen right quick. I'll 
So, was there glowstone in here? No, it's in my other house. Oh, that's good. Alright. Let's do glass panes. And no, I don't need all that. A stack ought to be fine. That's perfect. What are they talking about? <laughs> okay. So let's chop in a couple little holes here. Let's see how many spaces. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So if I do 1, 2, 3, 1, 1. No, it's not going to work out like that. Let's do... Four, four, and four. Is that what we're gonna do? Four, four, and four. Yeah, that'll be perfect. And we'll just do. I was gonna take out the top one, but I don't think that's necessary. We'll have to go look at it from the outside to see how that comes out. I could have made a taller roof, but I wanted it to be short. I don't want it to be. I don't want it to take away from the current. Um, beauty from uh, other places you know <laughs> Drax this place is a guard spider <laughs> yeah I think this will work out not bad for some terrible planning if I do say so myself out perfect but that's all right it's not supposed to be perfect all the time okay so I got windows everywhere and I guess I'm definitely not gonna put windows there and I don't need windows there <laughs> okay so there we go should be good now what I'm going to do guys is cut and get the roof on this thing and I'll show you the finished product and we'll take it for a test ride. Stay tuned, we'll be back. Alright you guys, so I got the roof done and I think it came out pretty good. It's just a little gradual slope with half slabs, nothing too special. I really don't want it to take away from the, the larger majestic builds because this is mostly going to be aesthetic um, and not practical. I will be using this but boats are a little buggy in SMP but all in all it makes sense for a little lodge type haven area to have a uh, a boat dock so anyway this tract was a little short and i lengthened it a couple times so far and it still isn't long enough it wants to clip right around there so i don't know um if you guys ever practice this but um when you want to change source blocks out this is kind of what you got to do it's a uh, it's a little peculiar but what i'm going to do is dig five down here that's three because the downward current, when you put a boat in it, will not will not play well. <laughs> it'll uh, it'll keep the boat down, and you definitely don't want that. So with a couple buckets, I dug five down, and what I'll do is just go ahead and place sources here and here, and now I can work off this middle. And if I place a source here, it just changes it up. And you could do this for any length of area, really. So now you just work to the next section. there we go so once you do all that up I'll just do these right quick once you do all that up your water flow won't be messed up and your boat will just be able to cruise right through it without um, messing up which is pretty important all right only a couple more to go And then once you get to the top here, it kind of just takes a life of its own because you could just cut away the uh, cut away the dirt, and it's all done for you. So let's go ahead and clip this out. 
And now this little middle wall is the only thing that we gotta take care of. It's a little tedious because you guys won't be able to see. Oh, messed up right there. But. Two more down. Oh, actually one more. Alright. Now it's 100% source blocks. That's a pretty long stretch just for a boat dock, I'm not gonna lie. But it's worth it. Okay, so let's take it for a little joyride, shall we? Uh, I guess I'm gonna need a boat. Do I have enough wood on me to do that? No, not really, huh? I wish you could make... Oh, I do have enough wood. Great. Works out. Let me just make a boat right quick. Alright. And get my stuff back. Okay. So I'll admit, it's a little hard to get in here, but I'm going to have to fix that up. I'm probably going to have to trim this embankment uh, so I can come around. And I might even path some water in there to make it a little easier. But what we'll do is set our boat down and hope any S we won't get any SMB boat glitches. You just, uh-oh. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Let's go in anyway. Ah. Uh, yeah, broke it. All right. How did they get in here? I wonder. I wonder if they spawned in here. They probably came through the water. I might have to set up some sort of floodgate. All right. Do we have enough wood to make another one? No. <laughs> ah, the joys of survival. Let's see. Do we have enough wood? I know we got wood somewhere around here. I have jungle wood. That'll do. Jungle wood. Might as well just make the boats here. I'll do one. I'm confident I'll be able to get it this time. Okay. Let's start from inside. <laughs> That'll be easy to show you. Until I get it perfected. So yeah. Place the boat down. Cool. Button. It just launches you right out. No steering involved. So you don't even have to press the arrow keys. It just launches you right out and all you have to do to get back in this is going to be a little tricky I'm just warning you <laughs> yeah you see if it was wider right here it would be a lot easier and there you go <laughs> it's all set I hope you guys like the design it still leaves a little bit to be desired but all in all, still pretty fun and cool little project to do, especially when you're sick, you know. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, this is Ulrich signing off. Have a good one. <laughs> that took a little long, huh? <laughs>